Bicol food for me has always been probably my favorite part of Filipino cuisine. And today we're doing my favorite, your favorite, it's Bicol Express time. Welcome back to Sama Puting Cooking. We're bringing you food and fun from the Philippines with me, Chris Urbano. You guys know I all love chili, right? If you haven't really seen me beat the Indonesians in eating chili, that's over here. And I think there's an episode we can probably pop up as well where you get to see me like biting a chili and getting really burnt with it. A lot of fun to watch that. I love chili and I love Bicol food. And today I'm recreating my favorite Bicol dish, which is uh, Bicol Express, the one and only. We're gonna be putting a lot of green and red chilies in this dish and show you how to cook it in a classic style that will, you know, hopefully blow your head off with the, the spice, right? You're gonna love it. So let's get straight into the recipe. So, like all Algata based dishes, we're gonna start with some bawang, some cebuyas, and some luya. So, get that straight into a pan of mainit na mantika dito. Now it's time to add the pork. A few different ways you can do this. Uh, if you're feeling like you got a bit more time on your hands, you, some people like to boil it first, or you know, twice cook the, 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 the pork liempo, um, so you could crisp it up muna. Um, I find as a home chef, mas maganda pa rin. Like, you know, you don't want that washing up, so I just put it straight in. And when you're using something like pork belly, maraming fats jan anyway, so it's, it's gonna be a fairly tender cut to begin with. But if you're using a different type of pork, maybe you wanna uh, you know, boil it first for a while before you add it, just to soften it up. So there goes our liempo. We're gonna saute this uh, for a couple of minutes and get it uh, nice and brown before we add our coconut milk. Okay, so I've uh, uh, browned my pork now, uh, my uh, liempo here in the pan. We're gonna add the coconut cream next. And some water. And here is our bagaong. And it is now chili time. First I'm gonna put in some green and diagonally slice these so maganda sa tingnan later. So I'll put in my green uh, siling pang sigang. And then I have here the real kick to our Bicol Express, our Sili Labuyo. Okay, here it is. Parang kulang sa chili. Can I get some more chili, please? That was quick. <laughs> I must have a whole stockpile of chili just waiting, just off camera to add to my cooking. All right, I'm just gonna put these ones in whole just to get that like, you know, big chili effect in here as well. Just bruise them up a little bit to uh, help the chili infuse with our coconut cream. And there we go, mga kabayan, uh, my Bicol Express. This is gonna simmer now for about 15 or 20 minutes until we sort of uh, get the coconut milk separating and reducing. In the meantime, if you haven't already subscribed, you can do that here. Leave a comment below of what you'd like me to cook next. And don't forget to share this video and help me take Filipino food global. So I've simmered this for about 20, 25 minutes. And you want your Bicol Express to get down to the point where you may separation yung oil from the coconut milk. So if you see the spoon there, you can see there's almost a clear oil uh, in the Bicol Express now. That tells you this is uh, ready to eat. So I'm gonna pick this one up now. And there's so much chili in here, I can smell the chili coming off it. Okay, and then I'm gonna finish my rice with a little bit of chopped na spring onion para maganda sa tingnan and a few fresh chopped chilies just to remind you what's in there. And then, you know, what do you have with Bicol Express? I love pairing wine to this because, you know, I don't think Filipinos pair enough wine to their food. What do you need to do if you're gonna have Bicol Express with wine? You need something with acid to cut through the oil and you need something that's a little bit sweeter because you got a lot of chili in there. So you want that kind of, you know, sweet chili effect going on. So my favorite wine to do with this, it's an unusual varietal called Petit Manseng, mostly grown in France, a little bit grown in Australia. So why I love doing this wine with uh, Bicol Express is it's got a real like pineapple notes to it. So it kind of brings in this very Filipino like tropical fruit overtone to the dish as well as being both you know sweet and, and highly acidic to cut through the coconut oil that we've got in the dish. Ready now to taste yung ating Bicol Express. I've got a little labuyo on there so let's see how spicy this is. 
Kulang pa sa sili. No, I, I think it's about right. I wouldn't want it too much hotter than that. I had quite a lot of chili in there. And super sarap when you pair it with the right wine. The, the sweetness with the chili just really works. And there's this nice, fresh fruit finish to the, uh, to the dish. Really recommend it. Um, that's a Betty Manseng that we're drinking today. Try Riesling. If it's just, uh, you know, you can't find what you're looking for in the bottle store, Riesling will work. If you like today's episode, don't forget you can subscribe here. Help me bring Filipino food to the rest of the world. Leave a comment below of what you'd like to see me cook next. And don't forget to send us your pictures of Filipino cooking at home. Uh, I'm Chris Urbano, and we'll see you next time. Bye now.